So here I am showing a Samsung phone running Android 13 and I've set an alarm for one minute from now. So very shortly the alarm should be ringing and I want to highlight how you can use um, sound and vibration settings. Now the sound and vibration settings are in two places. One in the settings tab. So there you go, first of all, let's, uh, let's explain you the challenges that we have overcome. So here, the alarm is ringing at its full max volume from the get-go. The moment uh, it rang. So let's actually snooze the alarm for, let's say, a different duration. Let's say I snooze it for um, just two minutes. So I can explain you some other things while it is still being um, working. So that alarm will snooze in two minutes. Now I'm going to go to the global settings. There is a sound and vibration. And if you read the message, it says anything that you change here will be applied to all the new alarms that you create. But there is a global, uh, there is a local sound and vibration setting on each alarm that you set that you can override whatever the setting it inherits. Okay, so let's say yes. And now there is this one setting which is not present in, uh, in the local uh, sound and vibration and that's the setting called gradually increase volume so that when alarm rings, it doesn't ring at 100% volume um, from, from the time the alarm expires. So we are going to save that so that next time when the alarm rings, it happens uh, to take uh, a different uh, sort of pattern that we'll observe. So here I'm going to set a, another quick reminder for, let's say, five minutes from now, or maybe two minutes from now. So let's reset this. We'll set it in two minutes from now, and we'll see how it goes. So now we're waiting for uh, the alarm to expire. You can go about doing whatever you were doing. So it just becomes very, very convenient uh, to use uh, the app for different alarms. You can have different sound and vibration settings. So now here it is gradually increasing from low to high. So I'll mark that one done. Let's go take a look at the settings one more time. So this is the local alarm that we had set and you'll see here that there is sound and vibration setting here also. So click on edit and then you can see the sound and vibration settings. I can override instead of for this alarm, let's say I want to use a very gentle reminder. And then um, it has, you know, how much volume you want to ring it to. So, so let's say we cap it at 50% on this alarm. And then I'm going to just save it. And then if I go back to global, I can change the global settings um, to be to be different. So let's say for the global settings, I want the ringtone to be. And then we also have the volume that I can adjust for the global. So the next time when I set alarms, it's going to use the global settings. OK, so this was a very simple way of uh, um, basically making changes to your alarms. And in just uh, a minute or so, our alarm should ring at 10.42. It's 10.41 on the clock already. So this time we'll see it should use a different uh, ringtone and it should gradually increase the alarm ringing from 0% um, to the max that we had set was around 50% of the, of the phone volume. Right, so we're just waiting for the alarm to expire. And of course, um, anytime you have a question, you have an issue, please feel free to use settings um, and then the feedback option there. Or, so here, it's ringing very slowly and it will go only to 50% as you can hear. Hopefully, it came across fine in the video, but you can, you should try it out on your own as well. All right, happy alarming.